In 2018, we embarked on the journey of a lifetime, living and traveling full-time in our self-converted van. We're gonna go for it. Join us as we continue to explore the beauty around us, one adventure at a time. We are going to the beach. We're going to set our chairs up as close to the water as possible and see what we can see. <laughs> so the name of the game is to whale watch today. Supposedly they're really close to shore and uh, you just sit for hours and watch them. And uh, we got our coats on. <laughs> it's uh, the end of June and we're still dressed for weather. <laughs> Winter weather, yes. Winter weather. Whoa! Get that on video. Uh -huh. We haven't even made it to the beach yet, and we just saw a whale breach right next to shore. Look at all those spouts. Yeah, I probably got it on camera. Did it breach? Yeah. Uh, it'd be breaching out in front of Rudolph's face. Then. Yeah. This one did right here. the southernmost tip of the Avalon Peninsula in Newfoundland. This is St. Vincent Beach. You can see all the people lined up behind me. So we're waiting for a phenomenon called the Capelin Roll. I didn't even know this was a thing until I got here. But what happens is thousands or millions of these little Capelin, which look like sardines, they come into the sandy beaches to spawn. And when that happens, there's so many of them that the water rolling is just fish and that attracts the whales. So the whales come pretty much right up to shore. So at St. Vincent's Beach today, it's sunny. You know how rare that is. 
<laughs> there are about 10 whales in this cove right now. And so we're getting really close to the Cape Lynn Roll. And this, this section of the beach is really deep. It drops off really quickly. Um, so the whales love it here. I think I'm gonna spend hours out here on the beach today.
I'm guessing if you come any time of year other than when the whales are right next to the beach, that there's probably nobody free camping here, or at least very little people. But this is what it looks like. It's jam-packed full because the word about the whales being here gets around real fast. Since we've been in Newfoundland, we've been hearing about something called the capelin roll. So I started researching it, and it's when the capelin fish come in to spawn. And we happen to be at the right beach at the right time to see the whales. And right now, the capelin are rolling. So you can see how foggy it is. It's early in the morning. Nobody's here yet. But we're gonna go look at the capelin rolling. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> this was the last thing I wanted to see in Newfoundland before we left. It doesn't happen for very long, so if you don't get the window, you don't see it. And I was talking to a local yesterday who said he's lived here his whole life, he's only seen it one time. So I feel very fortunate that we get to witness this. Oh, I see him. Wow! Look at all the fish! That's crazy! <coughs> I know, but you see the wave? You see wow. the wave come in? It was all fish. Look at all of them! Wow. There are so many fish! That's insane! You saw the locals come by. They're fishing for cod. Cod follow the capelin in. And my first reaction was to be sad for this many fish that are dying on the beach. But capelin live to be about five or six years old. They become sexually mature around three or four years. And they come to these beaches at the end of their lifespan. There's so many of them. So what they're doing when they're rolling in the waves is they're laying their eggs. And specifically this beach, because it drops off so dramatically, that the eggs fall off the shelf and then they hatch at the appropriate time and the circle of life continues. So, don't feel so bad about all the dead fish like I did at first until I learned that. here with Shannon. She's also in a van. She's been our neighbor for several days. 
There. <laughs> so you cooked these last night. I did. First time ever. And, and how did you cook them? You cleaned them? I cleaned them, chopped the head off, and when I chopped the head off, most of the guts come out of it, and it's so, it's so small. Yeah. So there was nothing to it. Give them a good wash. Got some panko with, you know, some seasonings and stuff. Yeah. Fried them in, on a fry, in a frying pan, a little bit of oil. And? They were superb. Really? Superb. So the Capelin are a delicacy here. They're pickled, they're fried, they're over the campfire, Everything. they're grilled. Mm -hmm. And you'll see them like hanging on strings on fences when yes, they're drying them. Absolutely. On like little tiny hooks. That's crazy. Right? Have you ever seen anything like this? Never. Never. And we've been here, what, a week? Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for this. This is crazy. Mm-hmm. Well, we're yeah. coming over for dinner tonight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. She asked me if I wanted to catch some, and I'm like, I don't know. Maybe we'll have Dave do it. <laughs> Dave! <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. We're going to go get some and have some for dinner. Okay, Dave. Uh, you can't come to Newfoundland and not try a Cape Flint, right? Yeah, maybe. I mean, maybe we gotta try it at so least. So we're gonna clean them up. Are we gonna bread them and yeah. then fry them? Yeah. Yes. All right, all right. If you're squeamish, don't watch this part. I won't show it super close. Does it clean easy? But they they clean pretty easy. So I'm just you cut their heads off and then take their guts out. Some some of them I'm gonna have to go back through and clean up a little bit better. So what you're saying is we should go get like a hundred more? No, <laughs> we may not like them. <laughs> I don't know. All right, was it terrible? No, it's so, they're, so, they're small, so they're super easy to clean. It only took a couple minutes and not much mess. And we only got, we only got a few, just enough for dinner. The traditional way to fry capelin is with flour, salt, and pepper. But we don't have an oven, so I don't have any flour. So what I did is we did an egg wash, the panko crumbs that Shannon gave us. We're just gonna put our capelin in the crumbs. Rudolph's very interested. These guys all coated. Okay, we're going to be frying them in, traditionally it's salt pork and butter, but I'm doing bacon grease and butter. Okay, they've been frying for about two minutes. They smell really good. They do not smell fishy at all. So we're gonna go ahead and turn them. Oh, they look good. Hey Dave, here you go. 
Traditionally, it's just a lemon on top, but you have some tartar sauce there. Okay, so I've heard that you don't have to worry about the bones. It's ed they're edible, they're soft, they're digestible. So we'll see what happens here. Very soft. Plain? Trying it plain. It's good. Super mild. Doesn't have that fishy taste. So a, a lot of times people ask us what we cook in the van. And we usually say whatever we cooked in our house, we cook in the van. But fish is not one thing that we normally cook in the van. No. <laughs> but this didn't even smell fishy when I, we cooked it. Yeah, I didn't smell that fishy smell. Yeah, you're going to like these. You like them? <laughs> they kind of taste like fish sticks. Yep. When we When we were younger, I caught a lot of trout. Uh, rainbows, brook trout, German brown. We ate trout constantly. We're and sick of trout. <laughs> and so we got sick of trout and we kind of didn't eat fish for quite a, a while time. after that. I like it with a lemon. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm not a fish person. So for me to eat this whole fish tells you that it's good. Yeah, that's true. It's good. How about that? <laughs> Newfoundland, Cape Lynn. Something we never heard of about two months ago. Oh, good. You approve? Oh, yeah. You're wagging that tail. You like it, huh? What do you think? You want it part two? Oh, you like it, huh? <laughs> Rudel approved. Okay, one more piece and that's it. Wait, wait. 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 One, two, three. Yummy, huh? Yummy. Obviously, my favorite thing about this location is the whales, whales and yep. how close they are to the shoreline. And they're just going up and down the shoreline, so you get plenty of chances to see them. Yeah, now I thought about taking a whale boat tour, but I think we saw more whales here closer than we would have seen them on a boat. Absolutely. So <laughs> I don't feel like I missed out. Let's right. go into what you need to know. What you need to know. First off, the place that we're staying for free at is only two miles or two kilometers, I would say, away from this beach we're at right now. And it has washrooms, garbage cans. Recycling. Recycling, what else? Um, Maybe a fire pit, I don't know. Yeah. I've, there's one there, but I haven't seen anybody use it. Internet? Internet, we have three bars of Verizon LTE. In fact, we uploaded a video here and we had some lightning fast upload speeds. So that was nice to see. And now, this area is really far south on the Avalon Peninsula. And so it's pretty rural. Yeah, so the nearest small town is 
St. Mary's. Mary's, which is 15 minute drive away. There is fuel there and gas station type grocery stores. Mm -hmm. If you need anything major, you might have to drive to St. John's where it's about an hour away. Yes. If you do go to St. Mary's, we recommend you go to the Celtic Knot restaurant. Is it and Celtic or Celtic? Oh, <laughs> I thought it was Celtic. I don't know. Celtic Knot restaurant and pub. They have the best hamburgers. We recommend the Dublin Dare. Dare, yeah. It's the best cheeseburger I have had anywhere. All right, so anything else? Um, I just want to say that I've said this before, van life is the perfect opportunity to come to a remote location like this and be flexible. We arrived here on Sunday and I'm gonna give you a tip. We subscribe to the Facebook groups of the area we're going to and we subscribe to the whale group. And then Sunday they reported whales here at St. Vincent Beach. So we came down on Sunday. Today is Saturday, we've been here almost a week. We have seen hundreds of whales. Yeah, and it only seems to be a short period of time. So if you see it on the Facebook that the whales are here on the beach, then you need to go right away because it doesn't last forever. Now, we thought that when the Capelin came in that the whales would be even more plentiful. But today, we've seen one whale. And the Capelin are here today. Yeah. And that's the other thing is last year, the Capelin rolled on this beach on July 10th. This year, it's July 2nd. So that's where the flexible part comes in. I've had the best time here. Seeing the Capelin roll was the last thing on my list for Newfoundland. I can leave now and be a happy girl. Yeah. We know we're having a good time if we're <laughs> staying a whole week just watching whales every day. Yeah, I mean, we're just sitting on the beach for hours watching whales. So I hope that didn't bore you, but man. We had a great time. We had a great time. <laughs> We appreciate you watching our video. We hope that you will subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We finally hit 30,000. So Yay! Thank you. Thank you to all our subscribers and our patrons who are keeping us on the road doing these fabulous things. Thank yep. you, thank you, and thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you next week. If you would like to support our channel, please consider becoming a patron. Thank you for watching.